Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. So, some of you might be wondering, uh, maybe someone has commented already, how am I getting this pesky landing gear off, on, off of this thing, or to stay on here to ruin the fun of the party bus? Well, it's coming off, and it actually comes off in quite an awesome manner. Uh, I didn't really plan on this, and I didn't really know that it would do this, but I find it absolutely amazing. Uh, before I'm just gonna transfer all my fuel out of, get the RCS out. Yeah, so far this bus seems like it's actually a really awesome idea and it seems to be working for the most part. I did a slight drive, but I, I mean, if you guys can tell from the last episode from where I landed on the distances, it's not very much driving I did, but we'll test it up a few hills, see what this thing really has to offer, and uh, I'm hope I'm hoping that it can make it out of a hill without using RCS, but if it has to, I'm not completely against it. Uh, you know, this is a really heavy, heavy lander, and I'm actually surprised I even made it here. Oh crap. Um, I'm actually surprised they even made it here, to be honest, because this has to be one of the weirdest things I've ever landed on the moon. Uh, the moon torch that you guys have seen, it, it, you know, I released a while ago that I kind of just laughed about in the first place for even releasing it. Um, that thing was kind of a funky thing to land to, but this was, um, this was even worse. Like, this just kind of was the real real funkiness of even trying to do anything with uh, landing strange objects on the moon so I gotta engage both of these engines they're both on okay I turned them back on um, now you want to start up the engines very softly and then increase it very quickly And it's kind of almost like a curiosity kind of landing where the gear just goes spinning away off into the distance and does all the kinds of nice booms and explosions are always nice. So let's get this thing moving. Surprised I didn't kill my battery by leaving on the engines. I, I may have left these on. Or no, they, they were left on from... Uh, when I started up my engines, the uh, the other engines that just kind of exploded in front of us. So I'm gonna be using RCS just to turn around. You know, you guys know know the spiel when it comes to uh, my rovers. Just RCS to turn a little bit. I don't like using a lot of RCS to turn, so. Just try to get it aimed in the right direction. We need to go towards the orbiter. Now, with um, traveling on the moon, um, you guys have noticed from a lot of my videos, but um, the lighter the package is, the better. Uh, you get a lot, um, you know, with custom weird designs, kind of like this. I'm probably never going to bring this anywhere near moon base beta, just because of the sheer fact of the amount of parts that is involved with this whole thing it's just an insane amount if i'm going to be moving or transferring crews like if i'm going to bring a guy from 10 12 kilometers away to moon base beta i'll probably bring the rover out i mean at least this rover out someplace close to where i can rendezvous on the on landing to where I can land something close to it transfer crews there and then bring it as close as I can to moon base beta which is roughly 2.3 or 4 kilometers away before it actually loads and you know just kind of drop them off there and then just jet pack them all the way to the uh, moon base now let's see what this thing has to offer. 
as far as, uh, whoops, didn't want to do that. This thing uses a, a lot of power, and I don't really think it has the best hill climbing uh, characteristics either, but this is our first one, so you can give us a break, guys. Let's see. What's forward? There we go. But that will get it moving forward very quickly. Um, for some of you new guys who are watching, I do not build my rovers based off of RCS in any way. Uh, I use RCS merely as a... Um, for direction, for steering, and everything else. Um, and even in some cases, I don't even use it for that. I have a few rovers that don't even have RCS. So, not not the ones I've actually made videos on, but I, uh, I have a few that basically just don't even operate with RCS in any way. Uh, my first rover, if you watch like one of my, it's like my third or second video I ever made, that was like my first baseline rover and it was like so over engineered it was crazy and i don't even know what i was thinking when i first made that but i was like an insane noob when it came to rovers at that time like if you were to show me something like this um i show my younger version of myself something like this i probably would just freak out and this is going to come off eventually, too. Right now, this thing is in control of this entire... It, it's basically a rover right now. It's not even a, uh, a manned rover. So, this thing is just kind of in control right now. And it's going to stay in control for a little bit. And that it's going to stay like that for just a little while. So, just bear with me. What is over here? Okay, moon base beta is five. Okay, yeah. So I think I'm going to get this thing to a certain point and then I'm just going to stop it. I don't want to use up too much fuel. Not to mention, you know, a lot of other things. I got to figure out a place where I'm going to put my uh, fuel depot. And the place where I was thinking is someplace off over here or maybe over here. I don't want to put it anywhere in this crater starting area because it's not very flat in these areas. I mean, even right here, it's not very flat either, but it's better. And not to mention, it's at the same elevation as Moon Base Beta. So, I mean, well, not the best elevation, but if you look at a hill like this, going up this hill just to get fuel is kind of worthless if you don't you know, like, especially if you don't have any. And even where we landed right now, we kind of have to go up a hill. So it's going to be kind of sucky for a little bit. So I think I'm going to get this about two kilometers away or so. And then I'm just going to stop it and uh, transfer the crews in. And they'll take their first joyride in this behemoth. Now, this is, like, a very experimental one, too. Like, let me mention that again. Like, this is not my, um, my best creation when it comes, like, my, my best idea on how I'm going to do something like this. Uh, I have a few other ideas in mind. It's more of, you know, like, everything needs a lot of testing, especially when you don't know what you're doing as far as, like, how you're going to construct a vehicle of you know, something like this. Maybe I'll, um, I would really love to do a speed test on this thing just to see how fast I can get it going. And I just don't know how stable it is. I know both of these modules weigh about the same amount, but I would really just love to see what this thing can do. And here's like a huge hill. I don't even know if this thing's going to be able to make it up. That's going to kind of suck if it can't. Hey, this is like a five ton payload right here, so I can't believe I've landed five tons on the moon, so it's just a little, uh, to me it's crazy. 
Let's try to get this little engine that could over the hill. And of course, I run out of battery power the minute I get towards a hill. And go anywhere near a hill, and it's like, yep, uh, don't need any batteries. So, let's turn this thing a little bit. Maybe I can get some leverage on it. If not, I'm just going to leave it right here. Turn off these pesky engines. And switch to the orbiter. I think I should be able to switch to the orbiter. Oh my god, we're falling! So, let's get our first crew member in here. I'm just going to get one crew member in for this episode. And, uh, you know, just to save time. Uh, what is going on here? I think I changed the focus on it. How am I moving? Oh, yeah. What is going on here? Yeah, so that was weird. Apparently this thing just fell through the planet. I'm just, like, unbelievably happy with all this. Like, I can't believe how much you guys are liking my videos. And, oh, this has just been one, two, uh, it's been a really long time coming. I just can't believe how well everything is going. It, there's been no hiccups and no problems with anything. It, but, you know, you say that now. And I, I, well, actually, I should say, I say that now. But there's a good chance there's probably going to be something that goes wrong. So, we got Simone and Hanbo and Nemeg, Ming, Neming. Yeah, I'm taking Hanbo because Hanbo has been around for a lot. And, uh, what, he, he just, like, headbutted that. Like, what, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> you head towards the bus, okay? Nobody likes you. Get on the bus. <laughs> I really like that comment, too, from the other episode where, uh... <laughs> what, dude, what happened to your suit? I, I uh, sk skidded about a, a kilometer. It's so awesome when you can see all this stuff all over the moon. All this junk. Pure crap I put on the moon. Um, you know, one thing I've been thinking about too, guys, and I'm not sure 100% when I'm going to do it, but I will probably put my persistence file up eventually. And I say that like a really big eventually, not like... Oh, yeah, like, in a week. Like, I don't know when I'm really considering on doing it. Um, I've said the next update I would do it. But I did that... I said that based off of, um... Basically thinking that the game was going to break all my stuff. Or I was just going to lose everything. So, like, I kind of just... I would rather keep it for now, in a sense... And I will eventually release it. I just need... I will release... I will, like, definitely let you guys know when I do. But just not for right now. So. I'm sorry if you were waiting for that. I don't really know when I'm going to. But I will let you know. I promise. So. We got our first guy in. Ready to drive this big monstrosity. Come on, get up there. But I don't want to. Oh, God. Grab on. Oh, wow. 
So apparently when they get to the end of a ladder, they can't climb up the top. I'm gonna switch vessels and um, put these solar panels away because the last thing I need to do is like have him jump and then he just jumps straight through all the solar panels. That would just not, I would not be happy. You know, because, like, my thinking with uh, the ladder is if you had, like, an open spot like that, that you could um, basically climb up and then stand up there. So, I did not know that. You can't do that. Whoa, whoa. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. Get in. Now, this thing... You just go like this and you can get rid of it we have our first unpowered rover on the moon guys first unpowered rover can you roll these things oh my god I could just see I've seen a few people actually make rovers out of these and I just think it's kind of silly to me you know like I guess it works but I just this is so slow like really I, I couldn't I, I'm sure yours are faster at least a little bit but I'm like rolling downhill too so oh god so yeah we got our first guy in here and uh, I believe I can take full control of it now at least should Although making up this hill is probably not going to be uh, anyway, sort of like in any way possible. What's weird too, I think this is a bug, is that when the brakes are engaged when with one vessel controlling, it seems like it stays, your brakes stay on, even though they're not actually on. Wow. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to back straight up. Just kind of control it a little bit, because this is a really steep hill. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it here, though, guys. Um, I figure I'll give you guys a little bit of a test run to see how this thing works, and you know all that other good stuff. Wow, <laughs> I almost I thought I thought I almost lost it there for a second. Uh, slow it down. Get, get those brakes on. It's funny, the engines are on too and it's still just like rolling. There we go. Get the little bit of hydraulics on it. Oh, we do. Oh my god. Got hydraulics. At least we got hydraulics on our ride, guys. That makes it slightly more party and slightly less scientific. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so anyways, guys. Uh, Check out my Facebook, my Twitter, you know, subscribe and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, you'll get your video updates. And uh, I will see you next time.